What's going on Team TurboSmart? Welcome back to the product overview series for the TurboSmart eBoost 2. The eBoost 2 is a standalone boost controller with up to six stages of boost, all controlled by three easy to set parameters. Your maximum boost pressure, the spool up rate of your turbocharger, and the reaction time of the controller itself. In our last video, we went over menu navigation and initial setup for the eBoost 2. In this video, we're gonna be going over boost groups, which are those three easy to set parameters, your set point value, your gate pressure, and your sensitivity. As always, the installation instructions for the eBoost 2 will be linked in the description below, so make sure to check that out. Otherwise, if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments section. And if it's something that we don't already cover in the series, we'll go ahead and answer it there. Otherwise, if you find this video helpful, please make sure to leave it a like as it helps us understand what you want to see. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. In our previous video, we covered the setup menu, so if you haven't watched that video yet, please make sure you do, as there are crucial functions you need to go over before getting into the boost group settings. The boost menu allows you to control three main parameters of your boost. The set point value, which controls the maximum pressure, gate pressure value, which controls the spool up rate of your turbocharger, and the sensitivity, which controls the reaction time of the eBoost 2 controller. Before we get into navigation of the boost menu, let's go over the three parameters. SP stands for set point. The set point value determines the duty cycle the solenoid will operate at when the gate pressure is reached. The SP value is not a pressure reading, this is a value between 0 to 99%. For example, when the SP value is set to 20, this is 20% of 99%, not 20 PSI. The larger the value, the more boost the turbocharger will produce. Since this is a universal controller, there is no set increment that will equate to a specific increase of boost pressure. You will have to set this yourself to see how your application reacts. GP stands for gate pressure. The GP value helps bring boost on faster at lower RPM and will give an increase in torque. Unlike the set point value, the gate pressure value is a representation of boost pressure. So if the gate pressure value is set to 10, it will mean 10 PSI. Start by setting gate pressure 5 PSI below the desired boost pressure with the corresponding SP value. For example, if the desired pressure is 15 PSI for that specific boost group, set gate pressure to 10 PSI first and then adjust from there. Adjust the value higher to increase the response of the turbocharger, or decrease the value to reduce the response. If this setting is too close to the boost target, you will likely get a boost spike. SN stands for sensitivity. The sensitivity is how sensitive the eBoost 2 is to changes in the boost curve. Under normal circumstances, the sensitivity is left at the factory set level of 20. If your boost curve is wavy throughout the rev range, reduce sensitivity. If your boost curve drops off at the end of the rev range, increase sensitivity. Please note that you should rarely have to change the sensitivity, but if you do, do not increase this value higher than 30. Starting from the default live boost display, enter the boost menu by pressing mode and the down arrow button simultaneously. If done correctly, you should see BG1 on the screen. BG stands for boost groups. In this example, we set number of set points to 4, so I can press the up and down buttons to go to BG2, BG3, and BG4. We only need to be in BG1 for this video, so we will select that group. To enter the boost group settings, press Mode. You should now see SP, which stands for set point, and the current value it is set at cycling. Depending on which boost group number you entered, the SP number may be different. To enter the desired boost group setting, press Mode. You can now change the value by scrolling with the arrow buttons. Once the value is set at a desired number, press mode to save it. The SP value should now cycle to the desired number you set. To back out of the boost setup menu, hold the mode button for 3 seconds. You can exit the boost menu by scrolling to the end option and pressing mode, or pressing and holding the mode button for three seconds. If done successfully, you should be at the live boost display. You can repeat this process for each setting in all of the boost groups that you have activated. This concludes the boost groups for our eBoost 2. 
If you found this video helpful, please make sure to leave it a like, but otherwise you could find the installation instructions in the description below. And in our next video, we're going to be going over advanced functionality, more specifically switch logic, things like boost by RPM, boost by gear, and boost by time. But for more product overviews, tech tips, and everything boost control, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video.